our audience today I'm going to tell you a very delicious receipt I tell you how to do and uh, a whole leg with backbone of turkish I have drumstick and thigh they are together and I have uh, one tomato sauce one tablespoon of tomato sauce two onions I have so uh, some spices salt black pepper and tea. I I bought this a uh, leg of Turkish in a boiling water then I put the spices and tomato sauce and onion then I make it to be medium uh, and complete it with a, another way you can see the water is very hot I put the tomato sauce I put the onion I put the black pepper and steam. I don't put the salt now after a medium. I put this in the water, hot water and cover it then let them for one hour. After one hour I come again to complete the seat. After I get this a whole leg with back from, from the uh, from the soup I have one tablespoon of tomato sauce one onion uh, green pepper I have a lemon salt coriander thyme, and a little of salt I mix all these ingredients in the mixer In this mixer, I put I cut the green pepper, the onion, and the tomato sauce. I put spices. I squeeze lemon, lemon juice. I mix them together, then I come again. Then I, after I mix them well, like this, I put them on the lid. I make holes to go inside. I make holes like this. I put inside it and I put from all sides then I put it in the oven for one hour for another one hour on a medium fire After one hour, I'll, I'll show it to you at the end. Now the, the whole leg was finished and have a golden color. It's very very delicious. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. And tell me your opinion about it. It's very nice. You can see if you bought a pack of spoon on it. You will find it very well done. Thank you. Welcome our audience in the channel Learn the Cooking. Hello everyone. Today we'll do a new recipe with the chicken chicken fillet. I have a piece two pieces of chicken fillet. About uh, three hundred grams of chicken fillet. I have one piece of pot potatoes, uh, tomato, uh, yogurt, uh, green pepper, one onion, clove, garlic, 
the spices I have salt, steam, black pepper and uh, nutmeg I take the yogurt I put the yogurt with the onions I cut the onions I mix them together green pepper and clove of garlic with spices salt steam uh, nutmeg and black pepper I mix them together and I come again I mix them together I will cut the chicken fillet in two pieces and two squares it's a fresh chicken I cut it into squares like this and I have sticks okay like this the other one Also, I cut it squares or cubes. It's very nice, very delicious. I wish you to try this recipe with the, the same steps. I hope you watching all the videos in the channel. After that, I get a tray and put the pieces, the squares or cubes of uh, chicken. I put the mixture on them and mix them together then put them in the fridge for one hour only one hour to to have all the spices the chicken takes the, the taste of the spices uh, after one hour I will come again after one hour I get out the chicken the cubes of chicken from the fridge I have a stick like this I put the chicken in the stick piece after the other I put them I have spaces between them to be well done after I finished I bought all the pieces of chicken in the sticks like this now I get the tomato 
I cut the tomato into slices. I bought them, one in the other hand, and one like this. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. I cut some potatoes to bit in the tray to have the sauce which uh, get down of from the chicken. I bought some potatoes in the tray to have the taste of the chicken. And I bought slices of green pepper with it. Then I bought on the flame, on a medium flame. For 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I put it in the oven. I add a little of water. After 30 minutes, I will come again. After I put it in the oven to have the, the brown color, it's well done. You can see it's very delicious and very nice. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, please write it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. Welcome everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to do grilled chicken. I have one chicken. I wash it well with lemon, salt and the flour and wash it with water. One tomato, one onion, I have lemon. I have the spices, salt, black pepper, coriander. I have same, nutmeg and the garlic powder and cardamom I mix all the ingredients together first I grate the tomato I don't use the peel, I throw it. Then I break the onion.
Then I put the spices. All the spices. I scrape the lemon. I mix them together. I bought them on the chicken from all sides, as you can follow me. It has a nice and a sweety, delicious taste. I bought them between the skin and the meat. I leave them in the, I leave the chicken in this mixture for three hours in the fridge. Then I put it in the oven. After three hours I complete it. After three hours I get out the chicken from the fridge and then I put it in the oven on a medium heat. I put this is a tray. This tray is used to grill uh, the chicken. I hang it in this. I bought a cup of water. When the water dry, uh, I bought another cup of water. I bought it in the oven now over 180 degrees for about two hours. This is a grilled chicken idea. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. In the channel, you will find a lot of kinds of food, bakeries, juice, desserts. I hope you tell watching them and telling me your opinion. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Today, we will do we we'll learn how to make liver and gizzard of the chicken. Uh, the ingredients I have liver. This is three pieces of lizard. I cut it into pieces like this. This is a gizzard of chicken. I cut also into pieces as you can see. Uh, I have two onions and one black uh, green of pepper. I have salt, black pepper, and sea. 
Wanna make them heat? I want the dessert. And I chop the onion. Without any fat, no fat. No oil, no butter. I chop the onion, I put them. I cover the saucepan and leave them on a low medium, a low heat. Leave them for 10 minutes. Now the dessert is okay. I put the lid now. I put lever now and green pepper on a high heat. I put the spices, salt, black pepper, and steam. I can squeeze lemon, half of lemon, cover them for 5 minutes, just 5 minutes. On a low heat. I cover them for 5 minutes on a low heat. Well done. I turn off the heat. I put in another plate. I hope you try doing this recipe, it's very nice and delicious. If you like the video please subscribe the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I am going to do rice stuffed pigeons. I have two pigeons. I clean it and wash them well. I have chopped onion, a salt, black pepper. I cut the liver of the pigeon to small pieces and I have rice, cup of rice and a spoon of butter. I got a spoon of butter with onion. I will deliver with onion to fry the dessert.
I bought this. It's alright. Make a side with the salt and the black pepper. I just add two spoons of water and stir. I don't add a lot of water. Now I turn on the fire. Next, I open between the skin and the meat. And the eyes, the, the eyes, as you can follow me. And also, I stuffed inside the pipe. I put in two places inside it and between the skin and the meat. And from the neck, I stopped it also. I fell with the rice.
I put the head inside it to close them. After I finished them, I put them in boiling water. Now the water is boiling, I put an onion and a little of black pepper. I put bygone. I put them in the water about for about uh, 30 minutes. I put a little of tomato sauce in the soup and I put a spoon of salt.
I covered the bands and I loot them for about 30 minutes. These are the stuffed pigeons at the end. I hope you try doing this. They are very nice, very delicious. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about them. You can find a lot of videos, a lot of bakeries, food, and a lot of desserts in the channel. I hope you are uh, watching them and tell me your opinion. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we will learn how to make fish tauk. I have presses of chicken. I cut into uh, cubes like this. One spoon of oil, one tablespoon of yogurt, one tablespoon of tomato puree. I do this for tomato puree at home. You will find the video of this puree in the channel. Uh, and the puree of uh, onions. Any herbs you have, you can put it. The coriander, thyme, uh, black pepper, salt. Any herbs you can put, not make any herbs. Uh, first, and also I can put a lemon. First, I put all the ingredients together. I put these ingredients with lemon, onions, tomato sauce, puree, yogurt, and all the herbs, all the spices. I put them. I mix them together. Then I put them on the chicken, pressed chicken. I leave them in the fridge for four hours. Three hours or four hours in the fridge. Then I come again. After four hours, I put a little oil in the tray. Then in this dip, I put the chicken. And you can follow me. I hope you try doing this, doing this recipe. Then I put this in the tray. The second one. It's very delicious. I hope you try doing this recipe and. Uh, activate the bell icon to know that I upload a video. Then I put them on the fire uh, on a low heat. I put them on a fire after 14 minutes, then I come again. Now the shishta wok is grilled uh, in the oven. I hope you try doing this receipt. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon. Tell me your opinion about the video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do Kentucky receipt. How to make a chicken uh, as a Kentucky receipt. First I have the chicken and cut it into pieces. I have the chicken and I wash it well. Uh, I have uh, spices, my, uh, a group of spices. It's uh, hot and it's uh, uh, not hot. Spices and not spices. I have one tomato, one onion. The, the spices I have salt. Uh, black pepper and garlic powder, onion, onion powder and garlic powder. First, I put I put a, a pan of boiling oil on the flame. I have a boiling water. I put 
a little spoon of salt. And some black pepper. And I put the onion and the tomato. I bought the pieces of a chicken. After 30 minutes, I'll come again. After 30 minutes, the chicken is well done. I get out the chicken from the pan. It's a healthy way to do the kintake. To be sure that the chicken is well done. I let it to be cold. After it be cold, the chicken be cold. I have the spices, uh, garlic and onion powder, salt and uh, black pepper. I put them together, then I get the piece of the chicken, put in the soup, then I put in, I stir the spices together, I have a hot oil on the flame. I put the chicken again. Then I put it in the hot oil. I leave it for five minutes. After I fry it in the hot oil, it has a spicy, it's very spicy. You can see it's very spicy. Uh, and it have a very delicious taste. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, please try it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our uh, video. Today I'm going to learn you how to make liver and gathered of the chicken. I cut it into pieces and wash it very well. I have one tablespoon of uh, butter, a little of salt and black pepper. I have uh, garlic, I cut into small pieces, uh, paper, green pepper, onion, lemon, and as I told you, liver and the gizzard of a chiffers, I put butter, spoon of butter. When it melts and it become hot, I put the onion. I cut the onion into slices. 
Then I box together. All of this on a low heat, low fire, low heat. I cover the bath. I leave it for 10 minutes, then I complete it again. Next. After 10 minutes, I put the liver. Garlic, and squeeze lemon, about lemon juice. Then I cover the saucepan again, and leave it for not under Next 10 minutes. I put the black pepper. Sorry, I put the green pepper and salt and then black pepper. Next, I stir them well. I cover for about 10 minutes. This is a new way and Three, two, one. These are livers and gathered of the chicken with a new way. I hope you try doing it and learn you your opinion in a comment about it. Hello everybody in our uh, video. Today I'm going to learn you how to make liver and gathered of the chicken. I cut it into pieces and wash it very well. I have one tablespoon of uh, butter, a little of salt and black pepper. I have uh, garlic, I cut into small pieces, uh, paper, green pepper, onion, lemon, and as I told you, liver and the gizzard of a First, I put butter, spoon of butter. When it melts and it becomes hot, I put the onion. I cut the onion in slices. Then I put together. All of this on a low, heat, low fire, low heat. I cover the bath. I leave it for 10 minutes, then I complete it again. Next. After 10 minutes, I would deliver it. Garlic and squeeze lemon about lemon juice. Then I cover the saucepan again and leave it for not under the test. I put the black pepper.
So, so yeah, I bought the green pepper and salt and the black pepper. Next, I stir them well. I cover for about 10 minutes. This is a new way and 3, 2, 1. These are livers and gizzard of the chicken with a new way. I hope you try doing it and learn you your opinion in a comment about it. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do roasted rabbit. The rabbit is very delicious. Now I will cook roasted farmed rabbit. I have rabbit, I clean it and wash it well with lemon and salt to be very clean. I have one tablespoon of tomato sauce or a piece of tomato one onion, I have salt, black pepper, and sea. When the pan becomes hot, now I got drop it in a low flame. Then I bought the salt, the tomato sauce, and the onion. I bought the black pepper and the seed. I covered the pan for about five minutes and leave them together. to cook for 5 minutes I leave them uh, for 5 minutes to be uh, until browned on each side like this now I cover the pan and let the five minutes now I can put a little of water you can see it has a very nice uh, smell now I put a little of water leave them to boil together Uh, I let them to boil together uh, for 15 minutes. When done, the meat should feel firm and should no longer be in internal redness or plot. Let them to boil for 15 minutes, then I will show you next. After 15 minutes, I put the salt and let them boil together. Now I put a spoon of butter. To fry and drop it. I turn fry down on the two sides. These are the rabbits at the end. They are very delicious. 
If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try doing it. Please activate the bell icon and tell me your opinion about it. Thank you.